Vidya, who is currently joining us live, uh, she also has Deepak Kesarkar joining her on that. Let me quickly cut across to Divya. Divya, over to you. Deepak Kesarkar with you. Uh, we, we, what, what exactly is the Shinde camp uh, looking at this case? How are they looking at this case? Because uh, what, what, they, what he claims, Sanjay Rawat, is that he was invited to join the Shinde camp because he refused. This is his fate. Uh, well, in fact, one of the MLAs has actually expressed uh, happiness with uh, the entire uh, action that is being taken. Uh, so, does do all those rebel MLAs of MLA, uh, you know, all of you, stand together with what, uh, you know, one of your MLA has said earlier? No, we have never demanded any action against uh, Mrs. Sanjay Raut, although he has spoken very bad words about it. And that may be a spontaneous reaction of one MLA, which is not correct. We are not against taking any personal action against anybody. He has, if he has done anything wrong, then he will have to face the consequences. And if uh, he hasn't done anything, then I don't see any, uh, because when the central agencies take any action against anybody, they will have to produce them before the court. And there they will have to uh, produce their evidences against the, that person. So that process is always there. Uh, many people in Maharashtra are trying to link us and our Honorable CM uh, with... That's one thing I wanted to ask, sir, because this action has come in the wake of the fact that the CM, uh, Mr. Shinde, had visited uh, and met uh, the senior BJP leaders. Was, was there a connection? Because a lot of people are drawing that connection. N not at all, because our cabinet expansion is due. And you know, when cabinet is to be expanded and uh, there is... Uh, a combination of two parties, then it is also to be decided which department which will go to which party. Because as soon as you take the oath, you, uh, department is to be allotted to you and then you go and you take the charge. So that is a very important process and for that if two leaders are meeting, then it's a natural thing. And so Sanjay Raut was not discussed? Not at all because uh, after coming back to Mumbai, Honorable CM has announced that soon he is going to expand his cabinet. But then the fact that, you know, he was your former colleague with his, uh, you know, the kind of action being taken, is there, uh, you know, a, a, a feeling that, uh, you know, uh, this is exactly what Sanjay Raut had been saying since a long time, that there will be ED, will be coming at his doorsteps, and this is the pressure tactic that is being used by the BJP since long? I think uh, Mr. Pravin, Pravin Raut was uh, arrested long, long back. So, if he had any connection, then he must have felt it. I, I cannot comment on this because one person who is connected to him is already arrested and then he must be knowing and he must be um, taking as a, a political vendetta. But it is not like that. Uh, whatever proofs he has, he should produce it before the ED. And there is no reason why they will take any action against him if there is no evidence. So, BJP is not using the ED uh, with, for political vendetta is what you are saying? ED action is taken with number of uh, prominent figures which are not in politics as well. 